In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a single filter that includes multiple levels of aggregation. And to help frame this question, let me give you a little bit of background. On Friday, Pablo reached out to me. Pablo used to be in the data school. And he said, hey coach, I have a doubt. I've got a single select filter by state, but I also need to include two regions in that filter. Is there any way I can go about doing that? And, and I thought about it for a while and I came up with several different solutions. And I'm going to start you off, go through a couple of the different scenarios. First off, let's just build a simple view that is just states in the rows. And let's just put sales in the columns. Very, very simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a region in the rows as well, just so we can see how this works. So we have four regions, central, east, south, and west. And for this case, let's say that we want to have a single select filter that includes all states in the filter list and all option, but also maybe they need to be able to pick the east and the central regions. So how can we build that type of filter? So I'm going to start by creating a parameter. I'm going to call it choose a location. And it's going to be a string filter, and I'm going to make it a list. I'm going to start by putting my all option at the top and then I'm going to list my filters or I'm sorry my regions central and east and then from there I'm going to add all of my states by the add from field option okay so now we have a long list of states all 50 states and then we have east central and all excellent okay so let's go ahead and show that parameter and we want this to be a single value list all right or actually let's just make it a drop down for now uh, no, let's let's leave it as single as a single value list because it's really easier to see. And basically, what we want to do is when we pick when the user picks central, we want it to show just central, just the central the states that are in the central region. When they pick east, we want to show just the states that are in the east region. If they pick just Alabama, then it should show just Alabama. Or if they pick all, it should show all fifty states. Okay, so how do we go about building that? We're going to create a calculated field based off of our parameter and we're going to call it our location filter. And I'm just going to write a, a pretty simple statement. I'm going to say choose a location equals all or choose a location equals the state equals the, our state field or we want to say choose a state I'm sorry, choose the location equals central and choose the location equals the region or and I'm doing you'll notice how I'm doing parentheses here because I want to group these two conditions together. Uh, we want to do choose the location equals east and choose a location equals region. Okay, so this is basically we're going to get four, we have four different options that we need to filter on. The first one is if they pick the all option, I want it to just return true. If they pick a particular a particular state, I want it to return true. If they pick central, then I want it to match to the regions and then if, and it, if, like that. So let's go ahead and now we have a um, location filter dimension. Let's put that in the filters and set it to true. Okay, and now um, if I go ahead and I pick um, Alabama, you'll see it filters to just Alabama. If I pick Kentucky, it filters to just Kentucky. If I pick East, it filters to just my East region. If I pick Central, it filters to just my Central region. And if I pick All, you'll see it shows me all 50 states. So that's really, really fantastic. It was super simple to do. But now the other question might be, what if the region is actually not in, so let's call this just our simple filter. But let's say I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this sheet and I'm going to remove my location filter. Okay, but now let's say that we have an additional uh, a custom region that we need to add. So let's edit our filter and let's add a new, a new region. So let's, uh, let's go down to the, I'm going to actually go ahead and select all of my states and remove them. Ah, it's not going to let me do that, is it? Okay, so let's do clear all. I'm going to start over again because it's too hard to move the things around. So we want central, east, and then let's say we have one called the, uh, let's say the southeast. 
and then we have uh, all of our states. Okay, so really all I was doing was just adding in this southeast into our list. Hit OK, and you'll see now if I put my location filter in here, and I set it to true, it's going to fail, right? Because southeast isn't one of our conditions in there. Okay, and southeast is not one of our regions. So how can we create a custom region for the southeast? Well, we can do that by using a set. So I'm going to say uh, right-click on my state field, go to create set, and I'm going to call this set the southeast. And we're going to pick the states that are in the southeast. So I'm going to choose Alabama, Florida, Georgia, maybe North Carolina, South Carolina, and then uh, let's see, what else? Um, maybe that's it. Let's just, uh, let's say Louisiana, maybe t Tennessee, um, perhaps that's enough of them for now. So Alabama, what else do we want to pick? Maybe um, that's good enough. So let's just say that. Okay, so now we have this set called Southeast. And if I put this set in our rows, you'll see that some of them are marked in and some of them are marked out. So if I go down here to the south, you'll see I've got uh, several of the regions are marked as in, meaning they're in the, uh, in the set. So what we need to do is we need to go back into our location filter and we need to um, edit our filter and we want to account for the southeast condition. So we want to say or choose a location equals southeast and and then we just want to pass in our south, we just want to evaluate our southeast. And by not putting anything in here, it's basically saying is southeast equal to in. So let's hit OK. And now let's see what happens. We choose central, we get just central. OK, that works perfect. We do east and we get just the east. We do southeast and look at that. We just get ours that are in southeast. I can take this now out of the view. And now I have lots of different options. I have um, all of my states. I've got my regions. I've got my all and I have a custom region that I created. So I probably wanna take region out of the view as well. And there you have it. So there's, uh, so what I've covered here is a way to use two existing dimensions in the same filter, but also uh, I showed you how to use sets to create a custom region as well. So hopefully you find that useful. Lots of little things you can do with sets that you probably didn't realize. Um, so uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks, have a great day.